we're playing our old friend Danny B. And I don't recognize this player and Chernobyl we played several times as well. Um, hopefully it'll be a good one. Let's see. Um, should probably look at the setup too. Uh, we've got an air spade in round one, two air rewards with the big building in round three. Unfortunately, that does seem to suggest that enlightened could be good here. Hopefully that's not what we actually get. We have a temple in round two. That's also good for enlightened. Um, who else could this be good for? The past tiles wise, we are missing um, the priest. The priest with this spade is very good but someone in the first seat grabbing a priest power action could be happy as well. Honestly, I don't think it's that bad for like Fakirs. Fakirs could go temple by the, or they, they could even start on the cult step, right? Um, you buy the priest or you just temple for air two. Maybe you try to take like a single dig or something. And then in round two, you build the second temple for air one um, and you have a dwelling spot as well. Round three, maybe you have enough for the for the sanctuary or something, for water one, and then you build the town and then you fly. This is like the town round is TBs. Then round five, you can build some dwellings with your flights. Um, Uh, first he gets witches. I do like witches here. Um, witches could be happy with a priest, or they could be happy with um, temple for air two. And then in this round, maybe the temple for air one. They could even build a stronghold this round. Um, I've seen witches have success with a round three stronghold, but personally, I like almost never do that. Um, the big building tile is in the game, though, so... I mean, maybe if you go Sanctuary Witches, I don't really like that. I'm, I'm almost certain that Danny also partially intended to block Enlightened out of the game. I do appreciate that. Unfortunately, we get Goblins, which is ew. Um, I'm now wondering uh, if it's too iffy to put Red into the game. Red really cares about this Hex. Um, E7, which Witches in the first seat could just take a power tile and single dig it with their first action. Um, it's a bit of a problem. So your other options are brown and red. Uh, you could also go maybe, yeah, yellow makes it ugly for sure. Blue is sandwich, so that's not that fun. Um, halflings buying the priest could be fun. Yeah, if, if the priest makes it to third seat, Halflings getting priest would be fun. So I'm going to go for fun potential with halflings. And we need something to normalize out the disgusting goblins. We definitely need a brown faction. Um, now that I think about it, like goblins are just going to be annoying already. We might as well put in a color neighbor for them to at least have some resemblance of a uh, resistance. Maybe this is the game where I start trying to play with the visual settings. I forget how to do it. There's a custom. Custom. Um, it's probably not worth doing until we've actually switched to like the actual game, but Displaying a game in a nice manner is still nice. I guess what we can do is we can peek at, I know that some, at least someone else is playing game. Okay, so 
this game here is going. So we could try switching this game to a custom view. And let's not show the ticker on the right side then. Um, no, actually, I think we actually do kind of need to just keep that there, but all right, display the manipulators. Yes, okay. So how can we get this to show nicely? So I think that we want the faction boards to be smaller. The big thing is that we want all four of the faction boards to be visible, I think. This cult board could probably be a little smaller. That way these pass tiles when you moved up. Favor tiles and town tiles can be still visible. probably shrink the favors. No one needs to see them that big. We all know what they are. And now the town tiles are visible. All right, sorry. We actually have a game here. Halflings have gotten some action. Goblins have been sandwiched. Wisps are disgusting, so I don't love that. Um, yeah, halflings are gonna be good. They're gonna get either the spade or the big building. Um, that's going to be very good. Uh, all four of these factions start with a step on air, so we could definitely see something interesting happen, like witches starting on maybe this uh, this four coins on the cult step that seems pretty likely to make it to them. They could open the game by taking a priest, send, send the priest over. Oh, hey, Lumen, how's it going? Agricola fans, how are you all? Um, hope you've all had a good Thanksgiving. Felipe, my voice is low, so it's kind of hard to hear. Okay. Um, I'm going to close the door to avoid making some noise. Okay. Looks like I should speak up. Wonderful plays. Hello. Hope you've been enjoying Terra Nova lately. Um, yeah, I mean, halflings are going to have a good time gaining territory. I don't think that, I think goblins are going to find it, like find their positioning kind of awkward in this game. Um, cause G5, like you want to open double temple as goblins, right? Especially with, this with the cult events here. Um, who knows if Wisps will be on G6? Um, that's a question that no one can really have the answer to. Halflings are in a great leech spot. Um, they have access to double dig in round one, likely. They might not win network, which is a little awkward, but um, I mean, we'll see. Like, yeah, Genova goes on to Witches, which I think is also quite smart. As I was saying, I think that there's a very good light line for witches um, involving taking this uh, cult bump tile and buying the priest with the first action, sending it to air, then temple for air two, then one more step coming from your uh, your cult bump that would get you up to step eight. Um, now, do you have two productive spots to use your priests? Maybe not, but. Um, Wisps, like finding even one spot as sandwich wisps to put like a useful TP is kind of tricky. I think that you're almost always going G6 in this matchup actually, and maybe H4. Um, D5 seems quite bad. You're likely not going to get a neighbor there. And if you do have a neighbor, it's on C3, which is witches. <laughs> um, and if witches buy that priest to open the game and just advance their shipping, they cut you off of C4. Now you could bridge as your first action, but that's also kind of bad. Um, but yeah, like you have almost no productive spots to use your stuff. So how bad do we actually think sandwich goblins are here? I don't know, but I think that sandwich wisps are terrible, terrible, terrible. And I will play basically any of these other guys other than sandwich wisps. Um, I, I don't really enjoy games like this. And my last game was also, and my last game was a nice color wheel, but it was like goblins, cultists, enlightened and treasurers 
or no, it was, it was Darklings. I put in Darklings. But it was like cultists, enlightened, and treasures like in the first three seats. And like, I just really don't like games like that. Um, and this is like a really, really shitty looking game as well. Um, with Sandwich Wisps in the fourth seat. Like, Swarmlings or even Mermaids, I could handle here, but like, Wisps are just. They're a fragile faction, and I, I guess I guess C one goblins and D two wisps could work. Um, that is something that I could see working here, but I'm just gonna pay a lot for safety. Um, Halfings and witches should be, should be single digits against wisps. Yeah, I agree, and also I, I don't know how strong this player is. Um, okay, they're pretty good. Like sometimes a player just goes for wisps, like. I, in one of my recent games, I think that Wisps were in, like, seat two or something, and then Green was in seat three. And then they placed, like, Red was in the game, so you would think that D5 might be safe. But then Green placed C3, and then they shipped over to C4 with their first action. It's just, like, this space map is very, very cruel to that sort of Wisps opening. I mean, Wisps will get to start with a spade. That could be useful, because then they can go D2, build D1, and then they could upgrade G6, and then spade, and then turn this guy to black, and then build this guy, or something like that. You know, like, they can, they actually have an opening here, but they might not have a neighbor on, uh, like, the goblin's neighbor might not happen on G5, which is okay, right? Because if that happens, then they can make a TP here, um, or th then they can dig this guy with their first action. So that's not the end of the world, but it's it's very bad for Wisps, and I don't I, I don't think that I'll have fun playing them. I, I don't I'm actually not sure that I'm gonna have fun like in this matchup at all, unless I'm like one of these factions who can actually do something. But then we're probably just gonna watch goblins like I mean like who's gonna ship here, right? Goblins if you just place D5 C1, like E5 always gets a neighbor. G5 always gets a neighbor in halflings, maybe also gets a neighbor in wisps. Um, you're going to be able to double temple, so. Sounds like a long auction. Well, um, as you can see, I am attempting to speed that up a little bit. I think that witches have a lot of play here, so I'm going to bid on them. And I probably will bid on goblins if these guys both get down to like 20. Um, goblins, like, all four of the passing tiles are in this game, so goblins will be able to find ways to make points. Um, they just need shipping to get up to these hexes, which they will, sh will get. I mean, I, I guess, I guess wisps can start d5 with no neighbor, and then spade this, then bridge to b3, and then you're really sad as goblins. Um, so I mean, I, I don't, I don't really know. For goblins, there's definitely downside. Like, wisps can definitely play in a way that makes you very unhappy. If your goblins here, again, I personally think that the best thing for wisps to do is not to do that. If I am I playing goblins, I might just start e five. Zorito, nice color wheel. I mean, this is like if you're gonna pick four colors in a row, this is not the worst four colors in a row. This is probably the best four colors in a row that you could pick. Um. However. Uh, wisps are really, really bad in a sandwich. Um, that's my instinct, that they're very, very bad in this color sandwich. So it's it's not going to be very fun. Anyway, yeah, I, I am curious about how this how this goes. Like, I think all four of these factions could justify buying the priest with their first action. I also wonder if witches are on E9. If witches are on E9, then I would be tempted to just... <laughs> I guess double double East Halflings probably gives way too much to goblins, right? Goblins starting on E5, they just get too much if they get the center town. You played Wisps on this color wheel and started H4, G6, but you had Temple on Brown for G5. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, the thing is, like, if Brown actually just digs g5 straight up that's not the end of the world maybe if, if they build g5 immediately but if they leave g5 floating 
then you have no neighbors and that really sucks, right? Because Wisp, you're going to have the spade in hand. So it's not the end of the world. Like, if Brown doesn't take this hex, then you just get it, right? But if they do take that hex, then you you can still make a TP here, and then you can go up. You can turn H7 to black and then dig down through here. So we'll see how it all shakes out. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna place e6 here. It just makes too much sense. We're gonna get one of these two reds, d4, g2. Um, it's better for a chance of a third town. Yeah, I mean, this is like one of those games where I just have no idea how it's gonna turn out, which is kind of just annoying and frustrating. Um, by the way, we're being handed a chance to just win the game. Um, Zurich Dale, you're saying that hard digging with coins can be effective. I agree. Um, I am going to just murder wisps here, by the way. Um, I'm going to place down here. And I'm going to just build G5 with my first action, right? I guess goblins can still place here, but then I'll just, with my other spade, I'll just turn D4 instead of F3, right? I can do that, right? I'll turn d4 to yellow. Now, I guess I can't place h7 because goblins can then place g5. That really screws me if that actually happens. So I think it actually still has to be f5. Um, and then we'll see what wisps do. I guess wisps just take h7 away from me. That's pretty annoying. But yeah, I can't actually place h7 here because goblins place after me. But I mean, double east goblins feels really, really bad. Am I okay if I strand h7 here? Probably not. Probably not. Goblins can get out here and ship and beat me to that. They got, also get a lot of leech if that happens. So I think I'm just supposed to place here. Um, the Goblins player isn't that weak. The Goblins player is like a 330 rated. Like, they're not the strongest player, but like that's not a bad player that we're talking about there. I mean, to be clear, like, G G5 black here would have been almost ideal. Spade goes. Um, goblins want to open double temple. Maybe I'm supposed to take that away from them. But I think that I'm supposed to just take double dig if I can get it. The other fun line is I could just take this guy and then give witches worker power. Um, worker power doesn't do anything for witches. It, and this guy gets me, guarantees me a double, like the, this cult step actually guarantees me uh, the spade, right? And getting that cult spade seems fun. The problem is that I probably don't get double dig then, but do I need double dig? I just really need single dig, right? The upside here is probably still worth it. I probably lose Act 6 without worker power. I agree, but what I was saying is like I'm not sure that I need Act 6. Um, because the, I get a cult spade. I have air 2. And also if wisps don't take H7, then I just get two things but it, wisps are going to take h7 like danny is going to take h7 if he gets the chance yeah like wisps are taking h7 anyway so this is kind of awkward for me the cult spade if i so let's say i let wisps take g5 I could do that, right? And then I go for G4 instead. Um, like I single spade F3, take this guy, use the cult spade and put it on G4. Is that an insane line? It's probably an insane line. I'm probably just supposed to, like the extra worker is also just some good. Nah, you know what? 
We're gonna go double temple. I changed my mind. We're just gonna go double temple and see what happens. The downside is that Wisps take G5. I'm okay with Wisps taking G5. I think I want Wisps to take G5. That gives me Leech. All right, let's see if, yep, Witches do by the Priest. That's a little sad for us. And also Wisps are on D5, which is pretty disruptive to goblins, I think. Okay, so the upgrade happens over here, I think. I should get Act 6 here, shouldn't I? Can't upgrade there, that would give it to goblins. Put it here. Witches, are, witches have taken themselves out of the race. Yeah, it is too bad that I couldn't go H7 here. This is better for goblins than I had thought, and a little worse, definitely worse for me. Um, uh, witches might just like temple with their next action, so I can't afford to not take Act 6 now. I don't think that Danny would dig G4 on me. I don't think that that makes a lot of sense. I think that he wants to dig H6 and get down here. Um, but this is a little dangerous, like where I, where these two spades go, but I think that building next to goblins first is better. Like this is, this is when you get more leech and like, if Danny does turn this guy, then, you know, we just get into dig war. Like I, I have the stuff to hard dig this guy back. So, um, I think that it's supposed to be h6, but he is welcome to transform g4 and just cause both of us to lose. That does happen, by the way. If he does dig g4, but first of all, he shouldn't do that because I'm giving him so much leech if he doesn't. But if he does do that, then I'm quite tempted to just hard dig this guy back and build. Um, Like Danny does put himself a little bit in jeopardy here because witches could go stronghold, but if they do that, then he probably hard digs this. So, I mean, we'll see what happens here. This is, it's obviously like quite ugly. He goes H7, that makes sense. So witches can't stronghold, so that, I should have seen that. Okay, so witches actually do stronghold. Um, so definitely a good call to go for H7 instead of uh, H6. H6 seems better, Felipe. Does it still seem better? <laughs> witches can't stronghold. Witches do stronghold. Well, I mean, I thought that this priest line was much better if witches uh, were going for two digs off of it, but I guess, like, there's their two digs would have gone next to wisps, so that would have been really awkward. So this is probably fine for them. Um, what favor tile do we want here? Can we just justify taking Earth 1 here? Probably not, given this. Yeah, there's too much economy in this game. I know that like the end of the game isn't that high scoring, but I think that there's probably a little too much econ to justify going Earth 1 here. Let's just do this. Do 
is it expensive TP for wisps? Cool. Felipe, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like that was my line for witches. Go to go to step eight in air, but like, but actually they don't have a good place to put the spades, so. I could still just go for air too. It comes with a worker later. I don't think it's that bad. Um, now people are gonna fight very hard for power and stuff, so. Danny wants to know why I didn't just single dig G5. Um, So let's see. Danny is saying that I would not have lost H7. So that makes me feel quite sad. Uh, Danny is saying that if I had done G5 and built H7, that he would have come around me like this. That would have been really filthy. So let's take air two here. Danny's saying that would have felt like collusion to let me know his plan. I, that's always an interesting thing, right? Like. Terra Mystica table talk is kind of interesting, but it is true that if I had just single dug G5, like that could have been quite an interesting game. That obviously would have, then I obviously would have wanted to start worker power. Here, by the way, I have an option to make it TP. Um, I think I kind of want it. I think I want this TP maybe over here, so that way I don't town too early. I'm thinking of taking a bridge soon. Um, so if we put a TP over here, we'll temple for Earth 1 next round. Witches haven't used their flight, so at least I'm going to pass on to the spade. So next round, it's probably temple Earth 1, drop the bridge, and then single dig. Uh, use the cult or use the bonus spade on h5 um, Maybe we mix in a priest to earth there if we can oh Danny takes the coins well shit This means that I'm gonna get a ship pass tile. This game is really not going my way It's going very very poorly Yeah, this This is just not good for wisps Actually, Wisps could have actually justified hanging a bridge there, I think, as silly as it sounds. What if I put this bridge here? If I do that, then I get, I still get a ship pass tile. I get the witch's pass tile then. Yeah, I can't justify that. I'm pretty screwed here. I guess I just take worker power and see how, see how life turns out. I do have tempo to take one action without losing earth one. So that action is probably going to be sending a priest to earth. Um, first priest to earth seems good. Uh, or, or I take the coins. Coins is probably correct, right? Yeah. I think we go coins, then priest. I have, I'm the only one with priest production. So we're gonna take the coins action. Then we're gonna send, then we're gonna temple earth one. Then we're gonna send priest to earth. And then after that, we'll worry about the air cult. and maybe getting this bridge. So yeah, witches get the spade, which is, I mean, Danny did what was best for him, right? He wanted he wanted the spade, um, or he wanted the big building tile, but this is so incredibly good for witches. Witches also left themselves with no very good spot to put their spade. They're probably gonna turn D7 to green, or to gray, rather. Mm. They could turn d4 to gray, actually. Oh, they five power priest. Okay. Well, where's that going? I guess that has to be d7 now. 
that's actually better news for me because now I am getting d4, right? That that seems like a bad power, five power priest given that. Well, yeah, that that doesn't seem like a great five power priest because now Genova can't even Genova can't uh, make a temple next round. He doesn't have the workers to make a temple. That can't be correct. He needed a worker's action there, much more than he needed this hex. This is like one hex. I mean, I guess he's going to get leech, and he can take the workers now, but... I disagree with this. But also, I, I mean, I guess I forced Danny to dig into me, but there was never any chance that he was going up north, I guess, so. Now, I mean, witches do have the stuff to make a temple, so that should not be entirely discounted. They're going to TP at four, probably, I hope. Though they... It would be like TP one dwelling. That's a pretty, or temple and one dwelling. And like, they don't get to use their spade. They really want the worker's power action. Okay, they're gonna stall. That makes lots of sense. That means that I do get to put priest to earth here. Um, that's lovely. That leech is lovely. I'm also quite tempted to buy this priest and send it to air. In fact, maybe I should have done that um, instead of sending priest to earth. I could overflow in power here. Goblins have two X tokens, which tells me that they probably used one for coins already. I guess I'd never finished up my custom layout over here. Boards are a little too big still. I don't know. What do you guys think of this layout and viewers? This requires a lot less scrolling, but it's a little hard to, it's not that legible. Water too now? <laughs> yeah, if only. Okay, witches are hanging out still. All right, so I, if goblins don't buy the priest, I'm taking the priest here. They do take the priest. That was shitty. I should I should have caught on to that and just taken the priest when I had the chance. Um, we'll do this. We'll temple earth one and then we'll build two dwellings. This is also quite bad for me because now goblins are not getting cut off of the north. So I think that goblins are hugely favored here. That's my instinct. Damn, goes Earth 1, Air 2. That's quite annoying for me. Um... Why do I want to steal the single spade? Yeah, witches would steal the single spade, so I'm just going to transform this guy.
it is legible to you to have the stuff in this format. Okay. I do think it could be optimized a little more. Like, it just doesn't seem like everything is quite the right width. Like, what if we moved this over? Shrunk this. That makes this a little hard to read, I guess, but. Nope, nope, that spreads out way too much. Like that. It's our turn again. All right. Let's get to work. Yeah, um, giving up that priest was a big mistake. I just wanted to not, uh, it's not very legible on your PSP. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So for all the PSP fans out there. I'm actually okay with both the spade and the uh, cult step guy. So I'm not too concerned about passing here. Oh, but yeah, I'm okay with both of these guys. Because I could definitely use coins right now. Um, in fact, I think I prefer the big coin style. Because I'm going to come into like an influx of, uh, of workers next round. Or I'm going to get an extra worker. One extra worker next round. Um, this cult step gives me an, a second extra worker and it gets me like right now what I need is coins, right? What I need is coins that I can get water one. Um, so yeah, I think that I'm actually happy to pass here. Um, I just sanctuary water one this round and then I cult step air. I send a priest to air and then we're all just a bunch of happy Fonzies. What is happening in this game over here? Is it, this game is still going. Why is it always this person's turn? It always says John Tyler must take an action. Maybe because my screen is frozen or something. Um, this Time Travelers game is not good, guys. Um, I don't know if it's actually their fault, but it's, it's not good. This No Sanctuary Darklings, Three Temples is kind of fun. Water two, water one, air one. That's also a fun set of favors. Um, but more to the point. Yeah. These guys can be widened a little bit. Oh, what if these guys are widened enough so that they just run down the whole bottom row? So like this guy's here. Spread it out a little bit. Now the town tiles. Uh, the scaling looks a little off. It's hard to find exactly the right spot for these town tiles, but. These things are not exactly the height that they need to be. I don't know. It could, it could use some workshopping. Uh, let's analyze this game a little bit. Um, witches are supposed to be taking the coins here. Um, they might be afraid of losing tempo on water one. Um, but if I'm witches, I'm just taking the coins and not worrying too much about it. You really want the coins here? Um, oh wait, just kidding. Wisps got the coins. So yeah, what are witches up to? Are they thinking of double digging? They certainly could double dig um, and then temple for the coins or temple for a water one after that. Uh, 
you got to think that goblins aren't going to open with sanctuary water one they they fly first because they want to double dig on h4 okay fine um so until there's any pressure on water one i'm just going to jam the cults that i can i have to think that wisps are going up air next uh, my next one goes on earth of course or i guess first priest of fire is not terrible but i have to think that goblins would do that like goblins Goblins taking the priest was good last round, I guess, because it did get them here. I, I think that in the end, the single spade might have been better than the priest anyway, so I shouldn't be too concerned about Goblins send priest to earth, which is really annoying. Um, I guess they just think that they can win this cult for me. And I'm not... I'm tempted to prove them wrong. Like, hey, asshole, you think that you can just win a cult for me? Uh, not once my ego gets involved. If priest to air disappears, then it's probably priest to fire. I would totally priest to air if I were Danny. Danny would probably like to stronghold on to D2 or H2, I would imagine. Ego checking the cult. I mean, that that's what the cult really is, right? Like this, this priest to earth is just like a jerk ass move. I also greatly disagree with Earth 2 instead of Fire 1. You have two X tokens, so to me, those X tokens should be used for cash. Um, but that's just my view. Or sorry, those tokens should be used for uh, workers, rather, at this point. So you want f uh, Fire cult stuff. Whoa. Whoa, that happened. That was that was a little sooner than we intended, you know? Um, what the heck? Uh, all right, so that's, I'm not ready to do that just yet. <laughs> I think maybe that's a better format for casting because I actually do like my board being big so that I can actually click on it to up great stuff um all right so I, I do need to wait so what, what what just happened danny undid his move he bought a priest okay so we're gonna fill this up we just fill this up right we don't go priest to fire like this assures us like eight cult points we probably get two points on this cult two points four points here four points here and then maybe we get some points elsewhere um if i go priest to fire i probably win fire but it's one worker less um, I'm just, wait, sorry, everyone. We're, uh, we're a little lost here. We're supposed to be securing <laughs> water one. We got a little too caught up in, uh, in looking for trying to placate our ego with cults. So you just sent me a layout inspiration. Okay, cool. I can uh, I can take a look at that. Passing for the TP tile also looks juicy. Yeah, you're not wrong. But I just never do that, man. I just never do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in on this. I'm gonna send priest to air, cult bump air. Um. Danny, what are you doing here? I mean, the, this sanctuary makes sense. Let's fire one. <laughs> this is the ultimate Danny B play right here. Takes a coin town, so he's gonna go three shipping. Okay, so he's just gonna make monstrous amounts of points. Um, and then I guess he strongholds on D5, builds A4, comes around. I don't know, he's just gonna make all the points off of... Ooh, man, if he could fly to H4, that would be hilarious. Um, I, I think that, so to be clear, I think that passing for the TP tile is very juicy here. Um, however, 
I'm also bad at Terra Mystica. And I'm just obsessed with economy. Um, so I think that our next action here, we probably single spade I-7, so that way we have town tempo. Um, yeah, I think we single spade I-7 next. And then we just have faith that we're going to be able to get enough workers to make this stuff happen. Unfortunately, witches are going to have passing tempo. They are going to be able to get the two key town, and they probably should take the two key town next round. Um, goblins did indeed use an X token for workers, but only one X token for workers. That also makes sense. They have secured water one, so all the scoring favors are gone other than air one. Um, So let's assume that the uh, that this town goes away, that the two key town goes away. That's obviously the town that I prefer. Oh shit, it's this town? They took that? So that is 100% not what I would have done as witches there. I every time would have taken C5 to get tempo on the two key town, but now witches, oh, witches can still TP here to get tempo on two key town. Um, but whatever, I need to build this hex anyway to have a chance at, a to town with my first action next round. Would it be better to save power for coins instead of Act 5? Next round, advanced digging. I'll have good worker income from the air cult. Yes, but... I'm not going to do what's best. I'm going to do what's what I feel like doing. Um, kind of kidding. I just, I, that didn't really occur to me. Um, I never claimed to be good. Is this fire two? Or is this air one? Maybe it is fire two. Okay. So witches are planning to secure two key town with their next action. They're, they're going to pass for a million points. So I think that my play is I give them the two key town. Um, Cause otherwise they just like, if I don't use this cult step, then I don't cross the threshold anyway. So we're going to just cult step air to get that extra worker. Um, and then once uh, witches pass, I get onto their pass tile. Um, and then, if witches have the audacity to open with a two key town by taking c5, I respond by taking the coins. Oh shit, no, goblins are taking the coins. Yeah. Awkward. Oh, that was before witches got act six and. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Yeah. Um, I think act six was good. Like, I, I actually think act six was not too bad there. Um, I also think that dig advances are on the table next round. Um, like it is possible that I'm actually going to go for the coin town here and then I actually will advance my digs. Danny has 77 points, which is pretty ridiculous. Anyway, this is this looks very very good for witches now. He'll pass back on the ship tile very quickly. Yeah, agree, agreed. Um, but now Danny, I mean Danny is going to cut off goblins, right? Goblins are going to get cut off real hard here. They have no shipping, and they're going to lose B three now. Um, So 
So I actually don't think we can advance digs this round, um, which is okay. That's fine. Uh, do we need a coin town? It's a sad thought, but we might. I think we can go priest to fire, priest to earth. Like I'm just thinking power management wise, right? I don't really want to burn two power, just take a coin town and still not make a second town. Um, so I think we just go priest to fire, priest to earth, um, take an eight pointer and then figure it out from there. The eight pointer, by the way, gets us a second spade, so I can turn this guy. I, I probably, actually, it's probably dangerous to fight against goblins. Um, it really depends on the passing order. And I guess I'm passing before goblins, so that's really awkward. But whatever. If goblins do come after G two, then I just hard dig it from them, and then we're both unhappy. I'm on the run from the police. Always a different location. Thanksgiving, man. Went to went to the house for Thanksgiving. I guess there's some risk that I'm losing the eight pointer here. That actually would be quite a bummer. If I get the coin town, maybe I can build two towns this round. Let's see. If I get the coin town, right? I get. Let's let's see what happens here first. I might I might not have a choice, right? I might be forced into the coin town here. Um, coin town does feel like it kind of kills my worker econ, but maybe my second town is a shift town. Okay, no goblins take the coin town. Um, it would require eight coins for me to make this one, right? Like I need two workers. A hard dig is four workers, and then two TPs is four more workers. So we're talking about ten workers. And I would be bringing my worker econ down from six to four. So I'd be left with eight workers after that. But I'd have a lot of TPs up on the board. I would no longer need to worry so much about coins. And it's five extra points. I mean, I, I definitely see I definitely see the argument for it. Um, Happy Thanksgiving, we're grateful for our streams. Thank you, that means a lot to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for this Terra Mystic community, you know, all the people who are interested in this. It's, uh, it's very nice. Okay, so I think witches are taking the other coin town, so that probably won't be an option anymore. No, they take the power town. Why do they take the power town? Are both coin towns gone? They're both gone. Okay, cool. So we're forced into what we wanted anyway. Goblins are going to go shipping now. Um, I guess this is a good reason for their earth too. I was like ragging on their game, but they're clearly doing pretty great here. Let's do this, which is I think want double dig on B5 and I'm going to give it to them just so that they cut off goblins maybe. Who knows? Um... Is it ever worth it to TP here and then take the power town and make two towns? That's probably a step too far, right? Regardless, I mean, this is clearly happening. Now let's put it on I7. This will get the neighbor from I6. And this actually does give witches double dig. It's just a little awkward for them. Um, presumably they're gonna be making TPs instead of actually doing other stuff instead of going for double dig, but 
Um, Danny is going to pass here. Um, I think that Danny must see that I'm ready to pass. Uh, which is sad because I would really like that coins action. Of course, if Danny doesn't pass, then I'm going to pass. But if he does, I think I'd make another TP um, and try to get my coin income right. Wisps getting to B3 is a bummer. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I was going to beat goblins up here anyway. Um, that's that's part of the problem here, I think. This whole game is a bummer for a variety of reasons, you know, so. God, I'm going to be so annoyed if goblins use two of their tokens to beat me on earth. I mean, they are allowed to do that. Goblins getting both these sporting favors also feels kind of wrong to me. But I guess, like, no one could really justify taking that away from them. Regardless, this, is, this does not look good for Team Halflings. It's quite not good for Team Halflings. They're going to get coins. So they are going to go shipping. They might come for A7, um, C1, stuff like that. Uh, but like this is a clear indication that they're interested in shipping. Here's a fun question. Am I passing for the coins or am I passing for the priest? Um, or the, the spade, rather. The cult step is better for protecting my points, but the spade is useful. It is a dwelling's round, so maybe I'm supposed to, like, two shipping gets me one hex. Like, shipping does not seem very good for me here, so I don't really need this many coins. I'm, I'm not going to get a third town. Like, this hex is actually the most interesting hex to me. Um, this D3 hex. Because so I could, like, maybe advance my digging and come down through here before goblins can. But is it really worth that? I think that just taking the spade, making another town, um, advancing my digging and trying to cut through, like, just doing digging stuff is better. I don't know. I, I feel like my game's kind of dead which is kind of sad. I guess I'm advancing my digging anyway, then I don't really need the spade. I have enough workers now. I could turn E7 to yellow. That might be kind of fun. Like, it gives me more digging opportunities, but... D4 is probably D, D4 is probably correct, right? This is probably the hex that I am supposed to go after. Um, come up here, then then two shipping does get me stuff. It gets me A7 and H3 if I can two ship from D4. Um, yeah, like I can turn this to brown, this to yellow. Um, if goblins go after G2, like they can be my guest. Um, it seems bad, but they can do that. And I have, I have zero coins. I don't need that many coins. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, tell me, show me where the lie is, right? Goblin single spade here, so any dreams of a third town up through the north is dead. Um, however, this does put goblins behind on taking d3 to secure that town.
Witches offer goblins a huge leech instead of just taking... I mean, I guess they're all passing on a pass tile, so they're not that concerned, but it's a little odd. Okay, goblins get all the shipping ready for this round. I guess there's no way I'm really getting this hex, is there? Yeah. Okay. Um... They have no X tokens left, so they are going to need to temple if they want another X token, but they only have three workers now. Um, wow. They they don't pass on to the scoring tile because their economy is so hilariously imbalanced. Um, I'm not sure if it's correct for me to come after H A7, but I think that there's a world where I could carve a town here. Wisps could definitely target A8, so I'm like not that convinced about it, but... Um, okay, goblins are going to go for spades here. They're going to grab a single spade for D5, probably. Danny's thinking about it. I think that this has to be coins. Like, you are doing nothing else this game. Just hoard hard and take the coins. Um, then you build your stronghold and come to D2 or H2 even. Yeah, H2. Stronghold this round is a little worse than next round, but strongholding onto A4 is very, very good for Danny because... That lets him build D2. Wow. Triple dig. Okay, well. It's a Christmas miracle, guys. Or Thanksgiving miracle. This is a really scrappy game. Yeah, it's ugly. Goblins are still going to make this town fine. They're going to get C2, so they're okay. Felipe says, wow. Yeah. Pretty cool move. Um, we'll see how it goes. Goblins obviously need to secure C1 now. Yep. So Wisps will build this next. Then they'll build a Tiki, come to D1. Tiki, build E1. It's a very cool game by Danny. Um, I, could, I guess I can take away C2 from Goblins, but I'm not sure if I'm that concerned about Goblins at this second. Like... Just like at this second, that's not my number one concern. Just build here. One bad thing is that I think goblins are much more incentivized to just try to win this earth cult now. Can I cut through here? I guess I can't advance my digging this round and advance my shipping. Um, also, should I be taking a priest town or should I be taking a shipping town? I think it's one of those two. Um, probably it's the shipping town, right? I'm still a little coin tight. I think I should start thinking about passing. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. I have way too much access to hexes and stuff, but... Um, I mean, now that Danny is committed to this third town... Um, I think that coming after A8 makes some sense. Um, witches are, by the way, just killing this game. They are, they are destroying network and they're destroying cults and they have like, they're very competitive on points and they're passing for points every single round. They're going to get this town. Um, oh, I'm not on the spade. Shit. Uh, so what should I do here? Should I build this hex? I think I'm supposed to build this hex. And then take a shipping town, I guess. Uh, 
if I hard dig this hex, or if I advance my digging once here, um, I think I can justify advance dig once, take d4, take the ship town, advance ship again, build two more. Then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dwellings on the board. And then maybe I can also dig a8 as well. Uh, I haven't done all the math, but that would be one, two, three workers, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have enough stuff to do that. So I think that that's the play here. I think we take the ship town and then we build three dwellings. Felipe, you agree with me? Okay, that's a good sign. Also, fun fact, I think I can make this town without building next to witches, which would be pretty nice. I sh it's the same number of digs to carve through here, and assuming that goblins don't advance their digs too fast, I should be able to get in there, though goblins probably are just interested in this hex anyway because um, they need to double dig and a bridge to make this town happen. Um... Regardless, let's see how this all goes down now. Ooh, do we want this leech? We're in danger of leech overflow here. Am I getting leech from anyone else? I don't think we are. And that's that actually makes this wrong to take, right? Like it's still a long round, but who is actually upgrading next to me? No one's building here or here. Like it's the only person that I could get leech from is witches and I'm too slow to get here. Witches are gonna pass. They've already used this, yeah. Their witches are done with the round, so I'm actually supposed to pat not decline this, which feels quite sad. Yeah, I'll just secure A8 this round. The only problem is then that I don't have a neighbor to build my TP next to. But like, but I mean, Wisps could be a jerk and just dig A8 from me, which is quite annoying. Maybe I can float H3 and I'll just secure A7 and A8 instead. And then I'll advance my digs again and just build A6. That feels like it could work, right? Okay, goblins have gotten themselves another one of these things. This is a fire two favor, which is annoying, but they are allowed to do that. You said I, I said I don't need coins, but I want to pay three points for two coins. I mean, here's like, yes, because the trade-off is, right, that um, like the eight-pointer also gives you like f four more points, right? Generally, the eight-pointer I think of as being worth like 12-ish points. Um, and it comes with some power sometimes, so... But you're not wrong. I may not be the most consistent at all times. I 
I think I'm supposed to take this cult stuff on fire. Not certain, but I think that I am. Hmm. Maybe I should be building a H3 here. Nah. I mean, goblins will goblins will definitely struggle to turn this guy into a town. I think I just lock up this hex, and then I'm pr and then I'm guaranteed my third town. You hope that Danny puts the stronghold dwelling on E11. <laughs> It's probably going I4, right? Okay, so I was going to put it on fire, but that wastes a power income. That wastes a coin. So I'm going to put it on earth. And that puts me in a better position to close earth as well. Um, assuming that I'm passing onto this tile. It's possible that I'm not passing onto this tile, right? Is the spade ever better here? The spade is a little more econ. It's one point. And if I'm going for this town, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve coins. Right now I've got, if I take this, then I have five plus three plus four. Five plus three plus four. That's 12 coins. How much did I say I needed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I also need a dig advance. Um, and I need how many workers? 1, 2. So 2 for the dig advance, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this town is not happening, is it? 1, 2, 3. The town might be able to happen with the help of the driller, right? The shipping tile is basically a town's worth of points by itself. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I'm supposed to just go for the shipping tile and then we'll do our dig advance and we're not competitive on network with witches and it doesn't really matter. Like wisps, wisps could connect with three digs. I don't think they're gonna do that, um, but I can just take E8 and then end those concerns as well but I don't think I'm like that worried about network here. So. so yeah, this town's not happening. We'll just advance our shipping and then we'll see how that goes. And um, because we're advancing shipping to gain the max econ out of that, we'll just go up earth track. I don't think that like looking at it, it's pretty clear that we don't actually have the coins to uh, to build the stronghold, which is fine. TPs and dwellings both give us points. No landscapes? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think that there were landscapes, but the stronghold helps with my digging situation. Um, like if I, you know, if I take the spade, like I build B4, and then I build a TP and the stronghold and then get a nine and then build a TP there. Like maybe that was enough stuff. Goblins go up the, that track. There's no way I'm going to fight them there. Please. No, wait, this is bad. Come on. E 11, E 11, E 11. Oh man. All right. This, this ends the wisps connection dreams at least. Um, so I don't need to worry about that at least. Anyway, I can't, I can't actually send priests to fire here because I need both my priests. Um, I guess I don't need the shipping advance, but it just seems so po point efficient. Um, okay. 
Oh yeah, so we just make teepees and dwellings. We'll get to 14 structures. Um, it'll be fine. We are not gonna build witches out by neighboring them there. Um, we're gonna put our TP next to Danny. And then we'll build E8. I guess it is a little awkward because we do need to, we do kind of need this cheap hex. Um, Maybe maybe E three no, because Danny Danny just makes a TP and fucks with me here, right? No, he's not gonna make an expensive TP just to fuck with me. He wants to upgrade D three to make that town. So I make a TP here, yeah. So this is gonna become probably gray, right? This actually should become harder for me to make. This shouldn't become yellow. It should become gray. In which case I'm not getting that hex. TP, TP, then I have three workers left after that. There's H1. I mean, there is H1. Yeah, that is true. That is two digs for uh, two hexes. It's probably what I'm supposed to do, right? E8, H1. Also, I don't have the stuff, right? I want to advance my shipping again. Uh, we should we should really consider how much stuff we have after we build E8 here, whether it's more worth it to go for shipping or to dig this dig down this last hex. I'm fairly certain that we're gonna actually come down to the decision that we would rather have uh, the ship advance, but. We will entertain other thoughts. Obviously, we can we can clearly afford this dwelling. So, though, I mean, maybe H one is maybe H one to start with is actually better, rather than I two, or rather than E eight. Nah, this hex will always be here. This hex will always be here, and it's not like it's going to get me any leech. Goblins have no stuff left. They can't really afford a stronghold in a town, so I think that they might be... We might be able to write off goblins as a threat. Has there been an attempt for landscapes for fan factions? No. Um, fan factions aren't even, like, they're not even official from the publisher yet, so... Or, like, they haven't published them yet. In like an actual physical release copy so i don't think that they're actually official um the question is are witches going to get to a 15th structure right and all right let's do a little math here if we make the tp and advance our shipping and then dig three times. Or, sorry, simply digging down the dwelling is gonna put at us put us at one coin, five coins, and three workers with a priest. So that's four workers, really. Um, we would be making a TP, and a, well, I have exactly enough stuff for dwelling and TP. Uh, dwelling at one, two dwellings, one TP right now. Um, and that would be uh, two digs plus two, plus two earth one, four earth one points plus three water one points. Um, so that's nine points. Um, and maybe three network points. So that's maybe 12 points, right? One alternative is that we advance our is that we advance our shipping and then build another dwelling and then just dig four times. 
this temple for water too certainly suggests that Genova has done the math and knows that they can get down to 14 structures. All right, so sorry, advancing shipping gets us to um, Man, this water to take is pretty this water to take is pretty arrogant it makes me just want to throw my priest onto the fire cult but I, I guess that goes away so i'm not tempted into doing something horrible um so sorry the the ship advance is four points and that gets me three points that's seven points straight up and then if i just uh build a dwelling that's three points for the dwelling that's 10 points and then i have three workers left um so it's a 13 point line so it almost cannot possibly be better to not build this dwelling all right well sorry the dwelling always happens so let's do that Like it's, I think I said that it was 12 points if I get network points to build all the structures. Um, okay, let's, let's do the math again, sorry. TP and ship advance, right? So TP and dwelling is, um, Oh wait, witches are definitely not getting out of this last structure. All right, so advancing ship and just digging three times is worth th four for the ship advance, three for the tile, and then uh, three for the digs. So that's 10 points. TP dwelling is worth five points. Uh, but maybe three network points. That'll be eight total points and a swing of 11 on witches. So based on that, like advancing ship just has to be better, right? Like at most I gain one point on witches, but I guaranteed to lose myself five points versus wisps and goblins. I don't think I'm so far ahead of them that I don't need to concern myself with them. So, so yeah, this is, this is a ship advance. Okay. We did the math. We figured it out. It's ship advance. Um, Yeah, plus I don't even know if I get that against witches anyway, so. Um, okay, in that case, does a priest do me any good? Would goblins try to close, close this cult on me? This priest costs me a few victory points, but goblins have literally, like almost literally nothing else to do. Can I temple for anything productive? I could temple water too. That seems very bad compared to just buying a priest. Um, that costs us two digging points, but it means that goblins with all their stuff focus on killing someone else other than us. Goblins haven't advanced their digging, so they're gonna build this bridge And then hard dig, single dig, like act five, something here. But then they might temple earth three at some point there as well to get themselves like the extra token. It's probably just better to close this cult. It costs us two digging points, but I think that that's okay. Math is cheating, we play by instinct, I agree. It feels good to get points, so therefore we should just do what feels good. Actually, goblins are in a 
tight network race with wisps. Which is hilarious, of course. Okay, witches just took the took the eleven point town. Okay. So we're gonna get two ship advances. They're gonna cult bump on water. That's an interesting priest, but I guess it doesn't it doesn't have to mean anything. Um I do wonder if there's a point where I could have passed to get the two key town. That would have been really good, I think. It's just a lot more power, and that power could have been coins. And yeah, okay, so the temple does happen, so I'm I'm quite happy that I did this. Um, long story short, I am quite happy with what I did. Okay, goblins give up on their second town. They're an easy fourth, um, so I don't need to worry about goblins anymore. They're gonna all do a clusterfuck over here. And goblins can close this cult on witches. Um, so that means that I am going to, I am going to get points on fire because witches have to close water here. They can't, they can't afford to let goblins just wreck them. Um, we advance our shipping. We get to 117, uh, which is do beat us pretty easily. Um, this ship advance puts them at 112. They pass for eight. Um, yeah, which is will pass for eight. Uh, so that's 120. And then they have 119 on the cults. Or 19 on the cult, so that's 139. They win network outright, that's 157. We're gonna dig twice. We'll just turn this to brown. So that's 126. 126. Um, we have 15 on the cults here, 141. And we're second on network, 153. So. Does that beat Danny? Danny has three points on network. Ooh, man, I should have I should have turned a hex to black so that so that uh goblins could get a hex. Because those six points on network for Danny. 140 or three points. 142, 145, plus four, 149. Do we have more than that? 41. Yeah, we're in the 150s. So okay, we're we're ahead of wisps. And of course goblins are probably last so okay um so we got second here um we could have made some magic happen with uh with danny if we had listened but alas we did not the Air cult win was just very good. I think that one area where we could have fixed our game a little bit. Well, I was talking about sending another priest to the air cult, but um, would that have been the answer? I think the answer is yes, because witches, how did witches close this cult on us? They got to step eight. No, we, we weren't going to be able to be able to beat witches on air unless we had temple in the two key town so
so yeah, we come in second. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, would have been nice to get one with you, but you know, can't always happen that way. Um, Danny says, I don't think that my position is winnable from auction. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the game breakdown. We do manage to eke out a couple points on the arena. We do lose a couple points on our regular ELO though. And it took a long game. Obviously it was a really, really messy game. Danny did really well, all things considered. I mean, he did, like he, he made a lot of points, but I don't know that he was that, that competitive for the win. I guess he, he caught a, did he catch a bad break at any point with a passing house? I don't think he did, so. This Witches game was just kind of unstoppable, right? Like, they got all the leech because of this. Like, this Goblin's placement, admittedly, it's pretty good for them. But if they had just single dug H7 and, like, town down here instead, that's much worse for Witches. Um, this dig here was, like, like, obviously it was very, very bad for Goblins. So I am glad that Danny did that, but... Letting witches have C3 was was really rough. Um, all right, let's take a quick look at the game breakdown and then we'll end this. Um, so we were slow, unfortunate. Um, we took two double spades, which you don't usually do as halflings. You probably only take one of those. Um, we took two coins actions, which was really good. And then I take this, I took this single spade, which is fine. Um, it was like pretty situational stuff, which is not the best way to use your air two power, but I mean, getting two coins actions generally just makes it worth it. Um, we paid a lot for leech, which I did kind of suspect was the case um we made a similar amount of points to witches but we paid more for leech and we started with fewer points just because i was impatient i do think that witches might have just been the better faction and the score does show that i was just very impatient with the auction and i think that witches probably needed to be bid down more i'm not convinced that stronghold was the best opening for them but like it obviously worked out perfectly fine for them um so okay so what do we got here we hit the track pretty well. Everyone hit the track pretty well, um, other than witches, but they didn't need it. Uh, we got earth one, water one. That was meh, but <laughs> felt like we didn't build a ton of stuff, but we still scored a decent number of points with it, and it didn't cost us that much in network and cults. Um, where we really suffered was that we didn't get the pass tile luck that we needed. We needed a lot more luck in the passing tiles. Um, we got on one good pass tile once. I mean, to be fair, I'm calling it luck, but I could have chosen to pass sooner. However, other people passed with less effort for an equal number of points. Like, Danny prioritized passing, but witches just, they managed to, like, just land on the pass tiles when it was time for them, right? Um, like, they never needed to make, an, like, a pass when they didn't want to. Um, and I don't think that that was just pure skill. I think that that was just luck in some ways as well um yeah that's about it um thanks everyone for watching thanks for chatting it was a fun one unfortunately we couldn't bring it home but it's good to get back on the stream we'll see y'all next time